Hello and welcome to today's tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the worst thing that most people suffer in XPS and Blender, neck gaps. Uh, Paramatic uh, EQ was happy enough to loan me one of his models so I could use this to show you. So let's take a look at the model and see what we can do. I was hoping it was a DLA model, but for one, I don't even see a neck. Oh, crappy, it's one of them type. Oh, that's not a neck gap. Oh. Give me a second. Let me. I think I got a model that I got a neck gap with. I was creating a. Yesterday on live stream, Anelko, I think it's Anelko Bunny. I don't know if I, if I still got it online. Let me check. It might be two. Because I ported it Anelko uh, Bunny outfit for a friend that wanted it for renders. I think this is the one that's got the neck gap. Let me check. If not, it's one that's got the neck gap. Because sometimes even the neck gap can happen to me. Gets yeah, one. And I'll show you why it happens, uh, the, the neck gap. Oh, that's right, it still don't got a root hip yet. I forgot. But I'll show you why it happens. See? See, there's the neck gap. I'll show you why this happens. Uh, I'll explain it to you, actually, with wireframe. Right here, see these two sets of pins? Right here? These pins have got to intersect with each other, which right before we get into the how-to video, I'll save this and I'll actually show you how this works. So let me save this real quick. I'll get rid of the head. That should be all of it, I think. There we go. Up oh, the mouth. Okay. But here I'll show you. might be the wrong head. No, there it is. See uh, right here? These lines need to either intersect like that or be next to each other. Which they can be downward if you want. Okay, let's... And you won't have no head neck gap. But that's not here what you're here for. You're here for to me to show you how to fix your neck gap. Which that's what we're going to do right now. You need Blender 2.77, 2.78. Which one? You're not going to be connecting any bones or nothing. What we're going to do is we're going to join mesh. And then we're going to use a ALT plus M ALT plus M to merge pins together to fix neck gaps and this is also gonna help the weight and you won't have to do no 
extra work. That's tools, that's DOA files. Wrong one. Bunny Hanoko. Which I gotta copy that because. I hate when it does that. That's my one hard drive malfunction, and I apologize about that. I'll take it out. Okay. That should be hopefully the last time. But what we're going to do is grab the head, hold in a shift, grab that, and move it to a second layer, and we're just going to move it over here. And now we're going to join these two together. Uh, do the head first. And then hold shift and again click on this. Hit control and J and join. Now it's time to learn pins on how pins work. These are pins right here. Uh, you can do edges or edge. You're just going to click on one pin and click on another. Make sure that this is clicked on. Because if you have this off, you can do the back end too. So make sure that this is always clicked off. See? Which I'll show you there. As you can see, it doesn't go through. Now we're just manually just going to go to one pin at a time alerting them at first and just keep doing this to do them all uh, hold in your control use your mouse wheel to swivel and this will move you sideways hold in shift and with your mouse wheel and you can move up and down and we're just going to go all the way around. This is the same way that we do sewing as uh, Nightly likes to call it. And do not worry, it's not going to change your textures. Uh, it's not going to give it a new, it's not going to join the UV map. Uh, the new blender is kind of like 3D Max in a sense that it doesn't uh, keep doing this over and over and over till you get all these done and this will fix your neck gap Like I said, you don't have to do anything fancy in uh, XPS, I mean Blender. All you got to do is just have a, a mouse and use your, your control, your shift, and your mouse wheel, and your ALT plus M. ALT plus M to merge. This is pretty much what you'll use too to create uh, outfits and stuff when we get into advanced uh, videos on uh, making your own outfits with, with mesh parts, which I gave you a little sample of that with uh, making panties. We should almost be done. 
just a few more. Okay. There we go. We are done. Uh, now when we get back into uh, XPS, since the material editor is there, we can actually rename the face from body back to head. Or face, whatever you want to call it. How you use call it face. Just go there and just give it a second. Let's remove our model. And once again, just to show you, to clarify that this is not like a mirror trick. We'll go to to neck upper and show you that. Oh, oh, that's right. I took out the head. I keep forgetting. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that. There we go. There's the you can see the neck gap. Now let's should be about done. Okay. Bring in our test model. Oh, I forgot she's down on the ground because she ain't got a root hip yet. Okay. There we go. As you can see, there's no edges. We'll use Wireframe to show you. And then I'll show you uh, the model done, which I'll show you that there's no problem with her. This after her hair and everything's been uh, attached. I know this video is kind of short, but uh, this video was meant for to help people want to learn how to let me see if I can know it goes pose back in here There we go. The only thing that's uh, not been renamed is the skirt bones. But there you go. There's your video on how to uh, fix a, a gap neck. Which I'll kick control and P. I'll snap a picture and then I guess that'll be our picture right there. We'll just use Sunoco. this video it is maybe one fifty. Okay. If you have any questions comment below and tell me what you think and do you know how to use Blender? Do you want help or anything else? Just comment below. This is SSPD saying take it easy guys. Have a bet have a great today and a better tomorrow.